The billionaires are fighting, but about something that really does matter, so let's talk about it. Now, many of you might not know that Elon Musk was actually a co-founder over at OpenAI back in the day. He didn't last at the company, and after he left, he became a vocal critic of its operations. So much so that he actually launched a rival service called Grok underneath X, formerly known as Twitter. And then this week, he sued OpenAI for abandoning its founding principles. What are those founding principles? Well, OpenAI says it's for good, but it needs tons of money to get better. In fact, it started life as a nonprofit back in 2015, but later switched gears and created a for-profit arm. OpenAI also says that it has to release closed models because as its tech gets better, it also gets more powerful, and the company doesn't want that power falling into the wrong hands. OpenAI says that Musk wanted control over its for-profit arm, which it didn't want to give him. Musk says that OpenAI is greedy and should open up its models. As you can imagine, the lawsuit kicked off an absolute hornet's nest of activity over on social media, and not just amongst the rank and file tech workers out there, but amongst some of the biggest and most powerful and wealthiest names in all of technology. On one hand, Vinod Kosla of Kosla Ventures, an OpenAI backer, called the lawsuits effectively a distraction and said that they were powered by sour grapes. And then Mark Andreessen of Andreessen Horowitz, you may have heard of it, said that Vinod was trying to make it harder to make open source AI software. And then there was Meta's AI leader who said, hey, I think that open source is the best way to make AI products that are competitive with nation states and other companies. Essentially, how to build and regulate AI is just not settled. Part of that hinges on whether or not AI models are freely available or closed to external interrogation, with founders and investors lining up on both sides of the argument. In addition to OpenAI, Google and Amazon and others are building closed AI models. And then on the other side, there are startups that are open, like Mistral in France, and even big tech names like Meta. Now, OpenAI is worth tens of billions of dollars, and some of these companies are pretty valuable as well, so investors on all sides have a lot riding on the outcomes. Now, what about the rest of us? Well, it's not really clear. Some people in tech think that we really do have to be cautious here, and they're doing that in good faith. Other people say that if we slow down AI development, it's tantamount to murder. What I know is that it's going to be a loud and raucous year because there are billion-dollar bets at play, and that's why the venture capitalists are, once again, fighting.